And people living in the Bahamas are watching this storm and they're preparing just as closely. Local 10's Terrell Fournier, uh, Terrell Fournier rather, is there with them. He joins us live now to show us how the islands are getting ready for Hurricane Matthew. Terrell. Yeah, good evening, Erica and Carlos. By now, you know that most of the islands here in the Bahamas are in the path of Matthew. You know, earlier tonight, we visited Georgetown, a city just a stone's throw away from here where there is a lot of nervous energy in the air. It's a big one. Security guard Patrice Roll is wearing a brave face on the job tonight, despite growing concerns about a strong storm churning her way. I was able to go into the food store, stock up on some grocery, and tomorrow um, we're going to put the shutters over the windows. Much of Exuma is aware and anxious over Matthew's projected current path, one that carries the potential of widespread damage if it turns into reality. The thought has Marvin Humes praying for a different outcome. So I just came from church, actually. Uh, I eventually give thanks and praise and to pray for such as the hurricane not to cause no danger and harm to the island. And inside of the town's bar and grill, the hurricane is certainly on the top of everyone's minds. And nearby hotels and other businesses are now tightening up loose ends, being careful not to scare away some unlucky tourists who found themselves in the middle of it all. Right now, basically, we have to put everything inside of our warehouses. Um, all our equipment has to be stored. I'm praying that it goes away from us. <laughs> yeah, because right now the Southeast Bahamas, I don't think they could take another hit. Let's pray all goes well. And so you heard it there, a lot of people relying on faith and the power of prayer in a way to sort of pray away this storm. You can tell by these palm fronds right now that it's, it's a very calm breeze that's blowing here. That is the kind of day that today has been. It was a picture perfect day, a very clear day. No sign of what's to come, but there is expected to be a big run on supplies and food and water and those sort of things come first thing Monday morning. We are live in Exuma tonight in the Bahamas. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.